to have. Well, Minister, thanks very much for joining the ABC. Now, you've announced today effectively that Australia is going to loan an additional $100 million US to PNG to help it in a pretty difficult financial time. Can you explain why you're doing that? Yeah, thanks, Stephen. And the Australian government has decided to extend our support uh, to PNG following a direct request from the PNG government uh, in response to the deteriorating budget situation because of COVID and the economic impacts of COVID uh, on the region. Uh, obviously, PNG has worked very hard with international institutions like the IMF, the World Bank, uh, the Asian Development Bank, and uh, they're, uh, they've got a staff monitored program in place, which we have great confidence in. And in response, the Australian government has uh, agreed to the request from PNG to loan money uh, to them to support that effort to get their finances under control in this critical time. Now, we've seen a shift. For about 20 years or so, Australia had basically stopped providing direct budget support like this for, to PNG. But for the last two years running now, we've seen announcements. What's changed? Why have we moved to this sort of direct support? Well, these things move in cycles. Uh, the Howard government did, as you say, make a loan to PNG. It was repaid, uh, and uh, that was necessary at the time. PNG has been able to run its own finances. This is a sort of sovereign country making its own decisions. We support their sovereignty and their stability. Uh, the economic conditions have come to a point where uh, budget support is needed. They've made a request to us, and given COVID, um, we've seen fit to extend that support to make sure that they have the finance they need to keep stability. Uh, in their operation of their government and make sure that they can uh, pay their bills during a very difficult economic time. Is Australia worried about others coming in and offering predatory loan agreements? Is this a, a risk, particularly uh, when COVID is battering the PNG budget in such a way? Well, Australia has the highest standards in relation to financing and loans and, and the work that we do with uh, partner countries in the Pacific and the rest of the world. And we support the IMF, the ADB, institutions like that uh, who are running a staff monitored program in PNG, which will mean a uh, great discipline and greater focus on budget requirements. We've always warned against uh, debt trap diplomacy in the region. And uh, of course, countries taking on a greater debt burden than they're able to do at, at unreasonable terms. And that's why an Australian loan of this nature is a high quality loan at very low rates, only at the cost of the money that we've been able to obtain and a small administrative fee. And it, it provides that stability and that certainty. And certainly we'd always warn, warn any country in our region against taking on debt at unreasonable rates. We've seen that phrase thrown about a lot, debt trap, debt trap diplomacy. Um, it's a pretty contentious one in the Pacific. Do you believe we are seeing debt trap diplomacy? And uh, if we are, who's doing it? Well, there's no doubt when you look at the finances of the, of the region that uh, countries have uh, been uh, convinced to take on loans at unreasonable or unsustainable rates. And we've been highly critical of that, especially when uh, the infrastructure or the product that's been received by that country hasn't been functional or suitable or what the country intended. And, you know, there's different governments, different regimes throughout that period when you think about accumulated debt. Uh, we, of course, are always a strong advocate for high quality financing, making sure you go to the right institutions which offer you good terms uh, in your interests and provide good quality assets. And uh, certainly we've seen around the world countries taken advantage of, in particular regimes or governments taken advantage of by, by particular actors. Yeah, when you're talking about particular actors, though, most of those high-profile high projects that have been criticised as white elephants uh, and certainly come under some fitty, pretty fierce criticism from your predecessor, most of those projects are funded by China. That's what you're referring to here. Well, obviously, we, we don't uh, name anybody in particular. Um, we think, though, that uh, anybody doing that isn't acting in the interests of those countries, and Australia does. I mean, our, we can only answer for ourselves, and we, every time, make sure it's directly in the interests of the people of the Pacific and the countries uh, that, that we're loaning to or that we're helping. And uh, Australia's got an excellent record in that regard, and we, we operate by maintaining the highest of standards and setting uh, the right uh, role for others. And there are plenty of other good actors as well. I mean, the World Bank, the ADB, the IMF, they're doing the right thing in the Pacific, um, other foundations, other countries, uh, and there's good models to follow. Now, one of the loans that's been issued from Australia, it was revealed in, within PNG budget papers, was effectively a direct swap for a loan that would have come from China. So how much does that calculus play into this decision? Are we uneasy at the prospect of PNG taking on more debt from the Chinese government? And is that one of the reasons why we're making offers like this $100 million loan announced today? 
Well, no, look, we haven't made an offer. PNG has approached us. And you've got to remember our history between Australia and PNG. We are, we are, we are brothers and sisters of, of people in PNG. We feel that way and people in PNG feel that way. And certainly I've noticed that being in this portfolio. They've come to us saying we need your help because we know you're good quality partners to do, fund direct budget support to our country. And we've responded to that. So we sure. haven't made an offer. Sure. Um, no, I appreciate that it's it's come from a request from PNG, but nonetheless, it does that unease about China play into our yeah. calculus? Well, well, no. Well, they're a sovereign country. So, but you said offer. We haven't made an offer. We we got asked for for a direct budget support. We've provided it. We've done that because uh, we owe a debt to PNG from our his shared history. Uh, you know, our, our our administration of the country under the British, uh, the wartime history that we've had. Um, our shared geography, our regional, our family ties. Uh, that's why we do these things. And because we know that a stable and sovereign PNG, well supported and, and doing very well for its population is in the best national interests of Australia. That's why we do these things.